So remember in the New York special when Uncanny Valley said your quantum masking is meant to confuse human minds? Well, those few seconds said a lot, even more than you might realize. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining what quantum masking is and exactly how it works. So basically, in short, quantum masking makes it physically impossible for you to figure out the superhero's secret identity solely based off looks and their voice. It's a lot like Disney's Aladdin, for instance. When Genie tells Aladdin that Jasmine will not be able to recognize him because it's quote-unquote genie magic. But how exactly does quantum masking work? To what extent is its capabilities? This question took a lot of contemplation. I had originally thought quantum masking only works when you are transformed. However, this can't be right, because there have been multiple times we've seen Marinette and Adrian interacting with each other when they're detransformed, and they still don't recognize who they are. Then, I thought that as long as you were in possession of your miraculous, quantum masking would do its job. However, this also cannot be the case, because in the episode Feast, both Marinette and Adrian encounter each other without their miraculous and still don't recognize who they are. Finally, I came to the conclusion that the only way a human would not be affected by quantum masking is if someone physically transformed in front of that person or flat out told them they were a hero. You know, Ladybug, I'm actually also Cat Noir and I've been in love with you since our eyes first met. Another thing I observed is that each miraculous has its own type of quantum masking. Remember when Marinette used the mouse miraculous? Adrian wasn't able to tell that it was Marinette, but he also wasn't able to tell that it was Ladybug either. Same goes for when Adrian became Aspic. Now, of course, as I said earlier, quantum masking only affects your ability to recognize someone by their outer appearance or voice. This has nothing to do with the fact that someone could figure out your identity some other way, one of which being deductive reasoning as we saw in Cap Blanc. Hopefully this video was helpful and you understand quantum masking a bit more now. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bug out!